Yeah, so a trip like this is is really more about, uh, it's not so much just about the bouldering. Like we didn't come back here just to find a super sick boulder problem. Uh, a lot of it's just the adventure of it, uh, hiking way back here, probably somewhere where only a few people have honestly been back in this canyon. Getting back here, it's kind of a physical test. It wrecks the body. We're carrying our you know all of our climbing stuff heavy crash pads all of our camping gear and then we get back here and then we have to try to boulder um, and a lot of these boulders that we're kind of climbing especially this one right here it's you know it's probably nine or ten so doing that after physically beating yourself on the hike in um, that's part of the challenge of it and that's part of the adventure of it too Super wobbly. It's a bit heavy, but it's sturdy. <laughs> Pulls me back a little. So the plan for the day is to hike in as far as we can. We parked at Grand Chine. We hit the trail at about five o'clock. Hopefully get to Elk Lake, which is like 12 miles in before it gets dark. That'll put us tomorrow morning, just a quick trudge up uh, about a 2,000 foot hill and we'll be in the boulders. People have been bouldering in the Sawtooths for quite a while. Obviously, people started climbing the peaks, um, then doing stuff like Finger of Fate, Elephant's Perch. And I think during that time, people were always kind of playing around on the boulders. Through the early 2000s, I think more and more of the bouldering started getting developed, some of the easier access stuff, specifically like the Valley of the Giants. But we've never really looked at like hiking way back in here. And then probably sometime around 2008, 2009, uh, this guy from Colorado, Jamie Emerson, sent me a photo of a place called the Devil's Den. And it was just littered with boulders. I mean, it was a just massive boulder field. And this was right when we were starting to get Google Earth imagery and be able to check things out like that. So I found out where that was and it was clearly way too far to go back. It was about 20 miles back and then you got probably another two or three miles of off trail bushwhacking. Uh, but that did kind of spark in me starting to look on Google Earth at some of these other remote boulder fields and try to figure out which ones we actually could access. Uh, the first one that we went to was Braxton and that kind of ended up being one of the better ones. Uh, Explored that, spent a couple seasons climbing there, and then spent a few other seasons climbing um, some other areas, Decker Flats, Trail Creek. Uh, this pin for this area has been on my radar for quite a while. It's definitely one of the more remote ones, which is why I've never been back here. The original plan was to go look at it with just a light backpacking setup, but Conrad here convinced us to bring the pads too, because he thinks that the boulders are going to be good based on Google Earth. So we'll see. That might give you more length though. Yeah, the small and the napkin. The small and the napkin. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. You fit on, do you fit on one of the big pads? Uh, I'll, I'll fit well enough, yeah. Yeah, so last night we made it in, what, 12 miles? We made it actually to Elk Lake, which was pretty sweet. Woke up early this morning, not too early. Just had breakfast, just had coffee, and we have about a 2,000 foot hill climb right in front of us uh, with what looks like a bunch of deadfall. Um, so we'll see how that goes. How are we looking, Mike? Okay. I'm sweating on my phone so much that I can't tell. <laughs> Which means it's hot and there's mosquitoes. Okay, the boulders, we're at 8,400 feet. We are currently at 7,400 feet. So we have about 1,000 feet to go. Which means we're about halfway up the hill. How are you feeling about the 
the likelihood these are gonna be good boulders. Do you know what? I've been to probably eight spots deep into the sawtooths, and I've never been to one that hasn't had at least halfway decent boulders. So I would say we're like 90% good boulders back there. 90% climbable boulders. 75% something stellar, stellar. Boulders. Dude, look at that free, free hanging block right there. Dude, <laughs> what's your plan? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, I got kids and stuff, man. Yeah, yeah so the trip uh, so far has been awesome. We came in, there's way more boulders than we expected. Um, a lot of the boulders are way bigger than expected. We found some really good stuff, found some, found a bunch of mediocre stuff, and probably, I don't know, maybe a dozen uh, super high quality gems. So yesterday we pulled in, we did a little bit of climbing in the evening. Uh, we were both pretty tired, woke up this morning. I think we were even more tired this morning than we were when we got in. Uh, still tried to climb a little bit though. And then took a good long afternoon siesta and we're gonna do one last evening of bouldering and then we're heading back out tomorrow. come back you think or um i don't know there's so many other boulder fields to check out uh i probably won't come back here but I'll, there's definitely other ones that i'm gonna come check out that are probably just as remote and difficult to get to
who's gonna go with you on those? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I think I'm burning through partners pretty quick. I'm burning through partners like Fred Becky. <laughs> I don't put that in. Let's compare myself to Fred. No, Becky. I won't. <laughs>